This is our final Friday Fan Request video matchup comparison. And this is the main event, I guess you could say. Ronnie Coleman, 2007. Jay Cutler, 2013. Heavy Metal Fitness requested this. And I have to say, this is the last dance for these guys. I get a little bit emotional, if you know what I mean. I mean, their last time on stage here. Can you imagine the thoughts and feelings that were going through these world-class physiques? You could just imagine. But we have to judge this one. We have to put our feelings aside and put our keep our pain waters from from tearing up in our eyeballs. Ronnie Coleman, he has a torn lat, and it is very distracting. Other than that, look at the conditioning. His skin, it looks twice as thin. He looks good with the oil, I should say. Jay Cutler, a little skimpy on the oil. He didn't think he could afford it, maybe. I don't know. Some of the more cheaper bodybuilders didn't use a whole lot of oil. But this is just a front relaxed position. Let's get into the meat and potatoes of the operation. The muscularity round. And these two have done battle so many times back and forth with this pose, front double bicep pose, Ronnie Coleman. He is fighting tooth and nail right to the last match, the last battle here in 2007. And Jay Cutler, he does look decent. I mean, the lats look good, good legs. But I just think Ronnie Coleman with the arm development is enough to beat Jay Cutler in a shot like this. My soul. These two legends, unbelievable. Front lat spread. Again, the first thing I notice, Ronnie Coleman. Look how thin his skin is. Conditioning versus Jay Cutler. Condition plus. But Jay has the advantage. As far as the lats are concerned, of course, Ronnie tore one of those lats of his, or it's gone, it's missing. But you look at the deep conditioning, the quality, the, even in the pecs there, Ronnie is winning. But sadly, for a Ronnie Coleman fan, and happily for a Jay Cutler fan, I believe it is tied back up with a, with a shot like this. Side chest comparison. And in the lag department, I would give it to Jay. He has the, the better display, I think. But when I look at the upper body, the three-dimensional thickness of Ronnie's big old bad pecs. And he was the baddest man on the Olympia stage, Ronnie Coleman. He was just a big beast, guys. Look at this. This is the friggin' king. And this is his worst condition ever. Are you kidding me? 90% of my audience members, probably young men in good shape. You guys don't even look as good as this. But I'm not dogging on you guys. You guys are, you guys look good. All right, go look in the mirror, have a protein shake. You guys are the world's most, most best built YouTube uh, fans, I think. Mark's Max Muscles, because you guys don't take crap, not even from me. Although, I don't know why you would. I'm only little. Ronnie Coleman, I am giving him the point in the side chest, but... Roll reversal here in the side tricep pose. Jay Cutler a little bit better in this one. Not only in the physique, but where it counts, the tricep itself. None of these guys are going to win a Grammy Award or a, oh, I don't know, a Nobel Prize, Nobel Peace Prize, whatever you would win for a granular tricep, like the Dr. Phil Heath. He could win a Pulitzer Prize or whatever you would call it. I don't know, a Golden Globe? Anybody? Either way, guys, that's just a little Hollywood humor. Why not? It's Friday. Go have a beer. Or whatever, siesta, if you like to just go have a nap. Back developments. And Jay got the side tricep, by the way. Back developments. This is interesting, guys. Both men displaying a totally different type of rear lat spread. Ronnie Coleman with the mountainous type, tra type traps. And look at the separation in the muscle. And not to mention the sheen. Look at the sheen. Good lower back as well. Definitely winning in the glutes. Big old legs on the King Coleman. But Jay Cutler, he is definitely winning in the lag department when you take into consideration the calves and those hamstrings. Look how sliced and diced they are. That's Chris Cormier level hamstrings. 
But when you look at Jay Cutler, he's missing some lats there. He's missing some pieces for sure. But so is Ronnie Coleman. And Ronnie is missing one very important feature is the width that he used to have. He was a Boeing 747. And now he's probably like, oh, I don't know. What would you call the Wright Brothers plane? But I mean, that was pretty wide for a human. I mean, my soul, if he was the size of the Wright Brothers plane, he'd be huge. Nobody would have beat Ronnie Coleman ever. But that is kind of a ridiculous analogy. He would be like one of those mini airplanes, but a pretty big one. Either way, guys, I'm beating around the bush. It's so close in the rear lat. Let's have a look at the next back shot, and we'll make a a full decision after both back shots. And you see there is a quality of J that is, it might be a little bit better. It is the sheen, the oil on Ronnie, and the lighting that does look fantastic, but you can't be fooled by that. Look at the lats. Look at the traps of J and the delts as well. It is a close one, though, guys, in both of the back shots, in the combination of the both. I would give Jay Cutler a slight edge. Mr. Cutler will be experiencing a little bit more than a slight edge in this ab and thigh shot. And I apologize, ladies and gentlemen, if I am slightly weirder than I used to be. But you guys are getting to know me, and you know when you get to know somebody, they act stranger and wait till you get to know me even better oh my soul oh my ronnie coleman to be more serious here guys like i said it's a it's a tear jerker this look at ronnie coleman he's in pain guys and you know he is in pain to strike a shot like this oh and i hate to give him a loss then that's the other thing you have to hand him a loss Ronnie Coleman, he put so much work into his career, guys. It's sad. It's sad. But hey, he ha he's the king, so it's not that sad at the end of the day. Jay gets the ebb and thigh. Most muscular shot. Ronnie Coleman, tooth and nail. He's enjoying this one a little bit more than the ebb and thigh, I would presume. And not to mention, he is also enjoying a victory against Cutler. I don't think there was too many years that Cutler was able to catch Coleman in the most muscular shot. It's just not a good Jay Cutler pose when you look at the outer arms. I mean, don't get me wrong, I hate to be disrespectful towards Jay Cutler. I mean, he's the cut above the rest. He's one of the greatest of all time. But we're comparing him with King Coleman, one of the greatest of all time when it, when it comes to the outer arms in the most muscular shot. I mean, my soul. And the pecs as well. He's also able to display that advantage. So it's a no-brainer if you ask me. He is defeating Jay Cutler in the most muscular. But the overall win goes to this man here. The 2013 Jay Cutler. This was actually a close one, guys. It was right down to the last pose. I could have given it to Ronnie Coleman. He had the thin skin. But Jay, a little bit more complete, I guess. He had... He still had calves. He wasn't missing a lat, I guess, from the front. Missing lower lats. But anyway, anyway. Jay Cutler is your winner. And Mark's Max Muscle is your wiener. Hope you enjoyed this third and final fan-requested matchup. Get your request in quickly, guys. I only will honor the first one. It will be played next Friday. Thumbs up. Subscribe. Have a great weekend.